Alright, Arabia against Dogao. Dogao, Mongoles. He wasn't played there for eight days. He's still active. I mean, oh, they have the Chinese New Year now, right? I think it's Chinese New Year. That's, he usually travels to fa his family, I think, during this time. The hell is the girl's name? Dogon El Kachoron. Which three sets have faster production for knights in 1v1? In 1v1 production for knights. Huns. Franks. Almost said Aztecs. Huns and Franks is for sure. Um, faster production for knights. What else? Faster production for knights. Don't want to look at chat because I might get spoiled. Huns for sure because they have a team bonus that gives them bonus. Franks have chivalry. Hmm. That's tricky. I'm not reading chat. I, I want to try to come up with this one. Faster working stable. I can't think of it. Ah, Roman. Roman, they produce 5% faster. Was that it? Ah, with comment answers. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Tricky stuff. We gotta get the last deer. Would you like my question? Yeah, it's fun. Especially during Dark Age, where I have time to think and look and think about them. But it also makes me look away from chat, so I missed a lot of chat messages, probably. Yeah, it makes sense. The Romans, yeah, yeah it makes sense. It adds up. Is Tower and TC range mod allowed in tournaments? Yes. They built that into the game itself, so... Uh, it better be allowed. Art of the Troll donating, which... I assume to be five dollars. Uh, give me a second here. Doubt has agreed to do a show match. Oh, why there goes there? Uh, and I want to know if you like the idea. Co-op, but no communication allowed. No voice, no in-game chat. Just have to guess the strat. That sounds fun. But also, I feel like co-op is also fun because of the communication. So it's like it takes a bit. It's both fun and not at the same time. Oh, I'm way too late to view leisure. Um, I mean, the idea sounds fun. Just to see what would happen, right? I, I think it wouldn't be fun o over more than like two or three games at most in that case. Since he would have no voice. Yeah, I'm missing sheep. I just need to find where he is. I will find my sheep later unless the girl lames me. Okay. Berries are very exposed. We're gonna go mega aggressive this game. Mega aggressive, even. You guys have never seen me this aggressive before. Trust. Will you try with him? I can give a hundred dollars. Uh, sure, of course. I, I'm down to try it. But, uh... Like I said, I wouldn't want to do like a seven game set with that. Unless it is fun as we play, but uh, it, yeah, the idea sounds interesting. 
We can try. Mongols dark age feel like a sheep. Yeah, you get like just so much initiative with it. It's pretty crazy. Should have two more sheep down here somewhere. Maybe I don't. Maybe I did find all my sheep. You know what? I probably did find my sheep, didn't I? <gasps> he has two more villagers than us right now. Bengals are OP. P games is fine. Cool. Yeah, I probably found all my sheep. you want to go archers it's a quick follow-up there's definitely gonna be a spearman here I'm fighting down uphill for no reason so it took more he got more damage than he should have there He trapped those. That's a bit awkward for him. Plan is to be also forcing him to stay at home the whole time. But he cannot even come across the map to scout my follow up. Your favorite unique unit would be best. What? Double range. Numbers will be crazy. Should have probably done fletching there or a blacksmith. I like the idea of double range. Don't need to fight spears. Hey, archers on the way. Aggressive boy. Oh, not a third range, that would be too much. I have the deathmatch anymore. I, I don't play much deathmatch these days, no. Uh, no scout, we need fetching. Trying to cut off reinforcements. Let's go around there. two scouts are but I don't think they will do too much damage anyway so I'm not too concerned oh the hidden capacity is available to the public that's awesome that's the case makes a lot of sense there's no reason for them to just keep it to themselves right the game is a bit choppy I'm not sure if it's the server or what
Oh, so the, the pup is up now. Essentially. That's cool. Glad to hear that. He has been able to defend so far. Name 3 out of 4 civilization have more than standard armor, either melee or pierce, on their scout cavalry once all upgrades are in. Armor. On their scout cavalry. Uh, well, on the wait, on the scout, well, Teutons is for sure. Malins? No, not Malins. Uh, wait, wait. I mean, I'm, I'm too busy with the game. That is an interesting one. Extra armor on their scouts. What did you say, melee units? Standard armor, either melee or pierce on their scout cavalry. So we know Teutons are for sure. Armor on their scouts. What civs do get armor on their scouts? There's no extra armor for Franks. Mongols don't have extra armor. We're gonna hit Castage with a lot of scouts alive as well, which is pretty big. I'm not reading chat because I don't want to see the answer, by the way. There's no armor to fight this. All right, let's think. Uh, melee, melee, melee armor on their scout cavalry. After all upgrades are done. Extra melee army for cavalry, cavalry units. It's really tough to think about it when playing a game. Okay, uh, Tatars? Tatars? Because they have the cavalry archers and light cap gets extra pierce armor. So there's one more sieve. Putin's Tatars. They also get extra armor. Coming out to chase me. Interesting. They also did skirms. This should be clean up. All right, back to thinking. Uh, Let's 
Putin's Tatars. I'm just like trying to slowly work my way through the sieves. Could it be like Romans again? No, that's just attack. Switch to cowardgers. I want another town center as well. Vandal, thanks for the four months. I think I should pick up relics because this might I might he has defended and is kind of like clumped up. I don't expect him to do much. I'm just gonna pick up some relics. Could have done for siege. Actually, we can do that as well. That should make it quite difficult for him to hold. Either melee or pierce. Melee armor and pierce armor. Okay, uh... Teuton's Tatars? I can't think while playing. I give up. Think, uh, I give up. Just tell me. Castle up in his face could end this for sure. I mean, he's not going to be able to move out on the map the rest of the game, essentially. Turks! Obviously, it's Turks. Oh, Lithuanians has as well. That was an interesting decision. Oh, I didn't get it. Okay, we got it. Whew. Close. Wait, so it's four saves then. Or did was there always four and you just asked for me to name three? That's probably the case as well. I would have remembered it if, uh, if I wasn't playing. It's hard to think and play at the same time. That's my excuse. Oh, three out of four. Ah, okay, okay. But Tatars and Teutons are, are correct. I'm pretty confident in that. As long as I have the hill, I don't mind taking a little bit of fight against the... Uh, Skirms. Could make a big Lancer switch. You're gonna start floating a lot of wood. Not a great fight for me. What can Gauls do against Lancers even? Elephant archers. No kidding, I think Elephant Archers are a good unit for the Gauls against... Ooh, create that one. We ate that one. The score is getting quite close. I think it's mostly due to the bad trades we have taken the last few minutes. We have enough food equal now to the point where we can... Prepare for a Lancer switch, I think. Should be a Relic on the top. Because he can hit... 
if you can hit a good um, Arbless time, it will be over. Don't agree with that. It will be really hard for him to hit the uh, Arbless time either way. Well, of course, if he hits Arbalest at a really good timing, it will be hard for me. <laughs> That's kind of just... Truth. But this is again one of those games. I should never ever lose this game. Unless I really mess up. Which again, is possible. I think he has done a pretty good job defending so far. Hello from Germany, hello. Hello back from Germany as well. He has mostly skirms, right? That cast is very passive. Didn't need to be so far back. Mangra production went. Considering the army compositions right now, Mangra isn't really... The game isn't really screaming Mangurai at the moment. But it's of course long term not tends to be a pretty good good choice long term. Almost always. Why don't we see Arbless research that often too too weak? Uh, with Mongols it's it's a very un underrated approach, I think. You usually have a lot of things you can do with uh, Arbless timing. And Mongols usually have good timings to work with. So I think Mongols can play a lot more Arbless if they really wanted to. But it's, it's so tempting as Mongols to just go, want to go Mangurai, right? It's not that Arbless are bad, it's just when you have Mangurai, you want to make Mangurai. <laughs> We have four relics as well. On paper, better late game save. Our food setup is big enough that we can go full Hussar from here. Which means we can also make a Mangadai switch. Or we have time to make a Mangadai switch whenever we want to. Castle on the hill, signature move. You know it. No heavy plow hurts. Game is screaming Drill Siege Rams. That one I don't disagree with. Oh, that's a nasty cast, actually. You know what? You might be right. That might be exactly what the game is screaming. Should be one more relic unless he grabbed it. Do I have any cow watches around? But we can still deny that. This eagle seems to be quite a mess. <gasps> There's a relic. You can just dive on the, on the trap even. Deny it! No! Yeah, 
500 wood. That's expensive. Very, very expensive. He's getting raided all over. Don't have a market. I know I have elite Mangadari rests, but priorities. I would do from that castle is safer. All those goals are forward as well. I think he has an answer to drill rams. I want to build another castle on the hill, but his traps are still sieged. It's gonna be a steamroll. I think so as well. 65%. We are getting there. Eco balance, thank you. You're referring to me having so much uh, stone? Rafa, these knuckles actually. That's annoying. I think it's time to make manga. I think I have enough gold for some. 4k gold. That's the thing, I haven't really needed it for anything else. Those rams will buy me some time. We have a castle up again. Not sure why that treb is sieging up. Oh, it wasn't. Might make it to 5k, I think so. What spice? 20,000? Not yet. Not yet. I don't have a market yet in this game. Doubt will be ashamed of me. What about drill onagers or drill scorpions? I feel like Scorpion should be crazy against what he's making. If we get the right numbers, of course. Need Siege Engineers as well, though, for it to be satisfactory. Having this, we don't like that. We start to need monks, maybe. We're trying to go elephant archers. Six K gold. <laughs> I 
Need more gold for spice, true. Scorpion should be really good against elephants as well, right? Who needs Mangodai when you're playing Mongols when you have Scorpions? We're missing Siege Engineers though, which is kind of key. Might go Monks, I'm just gonna get devoted already ahead of time. Are we faster than elephants? With scorpions? Wants to last. Yeah. 6k gold in the bank. Uh, we could probably afford some more power units if we wanted to. Yeah, the advanced statistics enable you could check. Victoria! I think Mongols are pretty good. I mean, I played super aggressive this game. I think a lot of people have just died to the pressure I put on. It did, all things considered, I think it did a really good job surviving early game. I should have obviously uh, transitioned earlier in Castlage to get keep the map control. No serious question. Did you start your journey already to a more vital physical shape? No, that's probably starting when we move to the new house, because then I will have my own room, fitness room. I can walk out the door and we'll have a forest I can go running in. So my fitness journey starts in roughly a month and a half. Do you know how to talk Spanish? No. No Mongol game is perfect without Elite Mangrai? I, I refuse. I disagree. I think the best Mongols game, Mongol games are the ones where you don't have Mangrai. Mongols are great in Rage Forest, but in 1v1, I find Mongols games to be way more interesting if Mangrai was not a part, a key unit. Uh, why don't we see Mongol couches too much these days? And they're still expensive, right? Usually you just have better options. If you're Mongols and you're doing a real fast castlage, probably Lancers is going to be your go-to unit. Cowboys are expensive. <laughs> 